Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Scrapping Nerd, and I have day 30 of 31 days of cut file fun from MK at Some Assemblage Required, so make sure you check out her channel. And so this is today's cut file, and the background I had made previously for another layout, I will show you how I made it, but I have it here, and then I'm going to back it with a black cardstock. And so for the background, I had this... Um, white and silver kind of shimmery paper and so my idea was to cut it into strips and they're about one inch strips and then I tried to keep them in order because the pattern of the the silver part of the paper had like a little pattern to it and um, so I'm going to use this cream colored paper just as a placeholder for the strips and I distressed the strips, the white strips. You'll see I'm gonna cut this paper also in green strips that are gonna go between between the white strips. But I don't distress those, I only distressed the white ones. And so I cut these, and they're a little bit smaller strips because they're just going in between. And I, with the white strips, you don't use all of them because you because I insert these green ones. So there's a couple spots I had to, the pattern is a little funky, so you can't use something that has a really bold pattern because then you would see that not all the strips are there. But so I glued down the white strips and then I'll put these uh, green uh, strips between them and then because the white's distressed, I kinda pull it up and distress the edges and it gives it a little bit of dimension. And so I really liked how that turned out. And like I said, I was gonna use it for another layout um, but it just didn't work for that one and it worked perfectly for this. So I backed that in uh, black cardstock. And so this is the cup file and it had flowers that went with the camera, but I wanted some bigger bold flowers. So I had these, um, uh, I think they're from like Kay and Company, really big pink and yellow flowers and I just put them on the cup file. In the cup file I just used a sharpie and colored it in and then backed it with some black sparkly paper. But I really like how the scale of those flowers fit better with my photos. And these are photos of my husband and father-in-law on our wedding day and so the photographer took a picture of us taking a selfie and then I have the selfie picture also and so that's kind of fun but I cut these um, leaves from a dye that I have but I'm not sure who it's from um, and then I use my stylus and the foam of course to add dimension to them um, and I'm gonna put it all around the cup file and within the flowers and I really liked this love this one I know was a K and company word and so I like that in the middle there and I will put some of those leaves in between the photos just to fill up the background a little bit and I I really like how that looks um, it just makes it look like there's leaves everywhere and so the with the stylus doing all the edges of these kind of palm frond leaves um, they really stand out and it looks really good adds a lot of dimension along with the dimension from the background that I made. And so the sentiment at the bottom says, picture this. I did switch the photos and put the selfie on the right. Um, this one will end up on this side and it says, just married. And that says today. So it says, love today is the title. And then I put little bling for the centers of the flowers. And then I was thinking, because I have the bling, on the flowers I should add some bling behind the leaves so I put some trailing uh, bling coming out from behind the flowers and I really like how that looks but it's a simple layout today uh, thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed to my channel if you haven't yet go ahead and hit those buttons below make sure you check out all the information in the description box about 31 days of cut file fun uh, there's a playlist and a Facebook group lots of inspiration thanks everyone I hope you have a good day bye